Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, March 31st, 2021 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Jan today took a quick look at Shodan to see what TLS versions are used out there in the wild. And uh, well, the surprising finding here was that there is still a significant number of outdated servers running, for example, SSL version 3. That was about 7% of servers that Shodan cataloged are running SSL version 3 and another 1.6% are running SSL version 2. And well, uh, the latest greatest version of TLS, TLS 1.3 is operating on about a quarter of the servers according to Shodan. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that Shodan does not take into account how popular these services are. Shodan actually sort of builds itself a little bit as uh, the search engine for the Internet of Things. So a lot of uh, these systems that Shodan discovered here are probably IoT style devices. And yes, they tend to be behind the curve on things like SSL if they even support and have properly configured SSL in the first place. But this also kind of spells trouble as browsers are removing these old versions of SSL from their libraries, because as a result now, users of these devices are no longer able to easily connect to these devices via SSL, typically forcing them to downgrade to clear text. And yesterday I mentioned that the NPM NetMask library has issues how it's handling octal IP addresses and that this could lead to security vulnerabilities. Well, and no surprise, other languages have similar issues. A blog post published today looks at the best programming language ever, Perl, and how its various IP address modules are dealing with uh, this uh, particular problem. And they found a couple of them, for example, Net NetMask, NetSider Lite, Net IP Address Util, and others that are affected by essentially the same problem. In particular, as uh, these libraries are providing simple shortcut functions to check if a particular IP address is private, meaning it's a non-routable IP address, they lead to some interesting results where, for example, IP addresses that start with 010 are labeled as not private and not public. So depending on how you're using the library, you may be getting the wrong result. So real interesting vulnerability here. And of course, it also depends then on how you're using the IP address after you're doing your input validation using one of these libraries. But I think it's fair to assume that uh, this problem will come up in various other programming languages as well. Well, and what could possibly go wrong with an artificial intelligent powered platform that you're using to manage your private, hybrid, and multi-cloud environments, server-side request forging, of course, yet again another example of this vulnerability that really sort of is taking off, I feel. In this example here is VMware's vRealize product. It today was patched for this server-side request forging vulnerability that could be used to steal admin credentials. I think there's a pattern we have seen now so many times where there is likely some kind of internal service that does provide tokens or some other form of authenticator and via server side request forging, it's then relatively straightforward to steal those tokens. Well, and then yet more evidence that you should be careful what images you're downloading from Docker Hub. Palo Alto Networks Unit 42 took a look at 30 different images that they identified as coming pre-installed with a crypto coin miner. This is a so common technique. have seen that uh, many, many times now. These 30 images between them had 20 million pulls, meaning they were downloaded 20 million times. Of course, no telling how often they actually got installed and uh, ran. 
And it's also an extremely simple attack. Uh, like yet again, we had XM Rick and XMR stack being pre-installed here. So all the attacker needs to do is find a suitable image at the crypto coin miner and uh, then advertise it essentially by setting up uh, some keywords to make this particular image be found. In the past, for example, these images were often advertised as completely patched or updated to make them more attractive than some of the official images. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.